today we are going to discuss about the topic that is sets now we should discuss about the set let's start with the definition any well defined collection of object is called a set a well defined mean the things which are defined in a same manner or were defined in the same manner can be based on uh, quantities but not on qualities to understand it uh, more better we should take the example uh, here the first is collection of all student in our class whose weight exceeds 40 kg uh, here it is the condition applied so yes definitely it's a well defined take the another example a collection of all the students who are hard working in your class now here you cannot say now if, to understand this let's uh, le uh, let's think that your class teacher is new to you and if he asks that who are the good students who are who, who works hard at his or her home you all raise your hands yes i am working hard so it is unpredictable uh, to make a make a set because here all can be a hard worker so here the well defined is not clear so it does not belongs to a well defined now the collection of all the months of a year yes definitely you are having 12 months in a year collection of five months of a year no because which which five months either uh, january february march april may or it is starting from the last five it, you are not sure so it's not a well defined now to change if we say collection of first or last five months of a year definitely we could have said yes it is making a set now collection of all planets of the sun true you are having how many planets before it was nine now it is eight now the collection of stars in our universe can you count it uncountable so not defined the so from above examples you should have been understood the concept of well-defined object clear now to start let us understand the definition of set any well-defined collection of an object is called a set like your well-defined means the things which are defined in the same manner now a well defined can be on the basis of quantities not on qualities now to understand it more better uh, let's take the examples now the first one the collection of all the students in our class whose weight exceed 40 kg here is the condition definitely it's a well defined now second the collection of all the students who are hard working or hard worker in your class now it is not defined who are the students who are hard workers now if for ex if you take if I come to your class and if I ask that who works hard at at his or her home you all raise your hands whether you are doing or not so it is difficult to define it clear now collection collection of uh, of months in a year definitely yes it is a defined we all know in a year we are having 12 months a collection of five months of a year now it is very difficult we are not knowing which which five months in the starting uh, first five months or last five months or in in between so it is undefined 
collect now to to change if we say collection of first or last five months of a year yes definitely it's it is well defined now another example collection of all planets of the Sun correct before you were having nine planets now you are having eight planets so it is well defined now if I uh, if if another example is there that collection of stars in our universe can you count it uncountable so it is also not well defined now from the above examples we understood the concept of well defined object now comes the notation part notation is anything that is written inside the curly braces which you can see it the first curly braces is known as start and the last one we say it as end clear now to understand it more better let's uh, understand with the example suppose that a is equals to open the braces and one two three and then close the braces these open and uh, end is known as notation in which all the elements are there now one two three are the elements and they all are having a separate identity which is separate from the others and we use separators or comma now how to read it a three belongs the sign which you are seeing is belong three belongs to a and here are you able to see four in a is equals to within the braces one two three are you able to see four no so four does not belongs to a how to write you can see it now to understand now n here capital n represent natural number and you all know natural number starts from 1 2 3 and so on now here just see that I have made a dark uh, dots these three dots are known as ellipsis all right ellipsis three dots and it we also say it as continued on or so on clear now W starts uh, W means whole number and it starts from 0 and then the set of all the natural numbers and so on now Z oblique I they are the integers now randomly I took here in the starting also integers because there is no uh, condition is there so I just have uh, started with the dots and ended with the dots so in between minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 you have already studied that integer contains positive and negative number now this Q is a rational number where the denominator should be greater than 0 or non zero and P and Q both are integer that we say is as a rational number now Q dash is irrational number which cannot be represented in the form of P upon Q in a fraction form examples are all the imperfect roots like root 2 root 3 root 5 they all are imperfect now real number is a combination or a mixture of rational and irrational number clear and represented by R now presentation of a set now the first one is description method the second one is roster method or tabular form and the third one is rule method or set builder form now I had made the three columns the first one is description method uh, form or descriptive form roster or tabular form or set builder form now let's start with descriptive form 
description of elements enclosed in a curly brass clear now the roster form or a tabular form contains all the defined elements the elements have no specific order for example the elements are what as i have already discussed whatever in the number form or in alphabets form or alphanumeric uh, 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 sorry not in alphanumeric i mean in number form or alphabet form clear a year example 1 2 3 is in a set now we can we can change the order of the elements now instead of 3 we can write 2 instead of 1 we can write 3 so we can change it now repetitions are not taken for example if we take apple now if we have to write it in the roster form in the set we won't be taking the repetitive number or alphabets here a double p is there so we will take only single p then l and then e now the third one is defined set if it is long now the set of a natural number less than 90 n is equals to 1 n is a natural number so it is starting from 1 and it is defined that it is less than 90 so here you have you can see that three dots are there or we can say ellipsis is there and then it is ending with the extreme point extreme end that is 90 this is also written in a roster form the set of uh, x y z and it is having less than 10 less than 20 less than 30 less than 40 less than 200 less than they, if it is there the extreme point is given it means that yes definitely it is a a finite set which which we will discuss it later now b the set of natural number now here no extreme end is given so it we will be write as 1 2 3 and so on clear now come on the set builder form now the general form to write it the name of a set for example a b c b p q whatever u and then the open braces and then the close braces in between it is the value or the variable as x then to two dot semicolon you can see or sometime one slash is there the here it means such that and in that it will be after that it will be the definition or the property will be there now to understand these uh, three forms let's start with the examples now the first example on in the descriptive form if we write the set of primary colors so the primary there are basically three primary colors they are red green and blue so we take a uh, we take the name of a set let's p is equals to within the braces red green and blue and it is separated by the commas now this is a roster form now let's uh, understand the set builder form now here within the braces x is such that that the x is a primary color clear and do you know that red green and blue when they mix they form white color now let's take the different example the set of a color in the rainbow in the rainbow the set of a colors so in a roster form how we will write b is equals to randomly you can take any uh, of it um, uh, name of a set which is equals to within the braces violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red all the seven colors all right 
now in a set builder form how will you write it x is x such that is such that that x is a color of a rainbow clear and the curly braces will be closed now the set of a letter in word shubrak and let's take the set name w is equals to s h u b now h is missing why because we cannot take the repetitive elements so h is missing over here then r a n k and each elements are different from each other we as a, in a descript uh, in a set builder form we will be writing x is such that that the x is a letter in the word shub ra and the braces will be closed now the set of a consonant in a word shubra in the english alphabets except the five vowels all are consonants so w is equals to we have to take only the consonant part now s h now from here u is been missing because it's a vowel b h is already was already there so we won't be taking another time next uh, another time h and then r a or we won't be taking it's a vowel n k clear now x is such that that the x is a con uh, consonants in a word shubra and the curly braces will be off turned off now let's take another example the set of a natural number less than 6 so this n capital n is equals to open the braces and write 1 2 3 4 5 not 6 because less than 6 it is there so how we will write in set builder form x is such that that the x is the a x belongs to natural number where x is less than 6 clear now the set of factors of 24 what are the factors of 24 1 2 3 4 6 8 12 24 itself so x is such that x is a factor of 24 Now the set of integers which are divisible by eight from minus sixteen to forty. So z or i is equals to open the braces and then write minus sixteen minus eight zero eight minus sixteen. Ah, uh, sorry, not minus sixteen. Sixteen twenty four thirty two forty and the braces is closed. Now here you can see the pattern that. Eight is multiplied in uh, in between minus two to five. Clear. So if in a it just I did to make you understand to make it uh, in a set builder form it will be easy for you to frame it. Now x is such that that x is equals to eight n because it's a multiple where n is integer because it is having minus and positive both and the end to extreme ends are minus 16 and 40 so in between minus 16 divided by 8 so it is minus 2 so minus 2 and 5 so minus 2 so n is more than Minus two, but less than equals to five. Clear? Finite sets. A set that contains a definite number of different elements. Now, within the braces, x is such that x is four p, where p is whole number, belongs to whole number. 
and p is less than 5. So, 4p, it means that p is starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, 4 into p, so now 4 into 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, if you multiply with uh, 4 in all the elements of p, then you will be getting 0, 4, 8, 12, 16. They are the 5 elements. So, here what I want to tell you is that you can count the elements. If you can count the elements, definitely it is a finite set. Now, other examples a set of vowel. Vowel is having how many elements? A, E, I, O, U, 5. A set of consonants. Total you are having 26. It means consonant you are having 21. A set of a cricket team. How many players are there in a cricket team? 11. It is countable. So it is a finite. A set of months in a year. Definitely you know it. That you are having 12 months in a year. So it is countable. So it is a finite. A set of days in a week. How many days are there in a week? 7. So it is a finite set. Now we will discuss about infinite set. A set that contains unlimited number of different elements. Now let's take uh, the examples. Now x is such that the x is equals to 4p where p is a uh, belongs to whole number. Now, if the uh, p is equals to 0, 4, 8, 12 and so on. Now, if you multiply it um, uh, before, uh, I mean, uh, now here, what I want to tell you is that it is going on and on and you cannot count it. Can you count? No, you cannot count because it is, it is just infinity. So, that is an infinite set. Uh, other examples. The set of natural number 1, 2, 3 and so on. The set of whole numbers 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. The set of integers. Uh, you are not sure from where to start and where to end here. So, in integers especially. So, so on, so on, so on, so on. Minus 2, minus 1. 0, 1 and so on and so on. So, it is also an infinite set. Now, the set of even, odd, they all are infinite. Clear? Now, about the singleton or unit set. A set which contains only one element. The set of all the even numbers. What are the set of all the even numbers? That is 2 only. The set of months having less than 30 degree. Uh, sorry. 30 days. It's a February. The set of months beginning with the letter N. It is November only. The set of natural number which are neither prime nor composite. That is 1 only. Now here, the sign which you are seeing, like a Q, it is the example, it, we say it as a null set and it is having the, it is an example of singleton because in within the brace it is having one element and it is a finite set. Why? Because it is having a certain fixed element. So, 1. Alright. Certain fixed number of element. That is 1 here. Now, empty set. A set which doesn't contain any element. Donated, don, uh, denoted by... Uh, you can see that uh, uh, it is making like a Q and extending the line that way or... With, within the curly braces, nothing is there. It's an empty set. Now, to understand it more better, let's uh, discuss the example. 
set of months of a year having less than 28 days you are having do you can you tell me any month which is having less than 28 days no so it is a example of empty set the, the set of whole number less than zero whole number starts from zero so any set a, a, a any number which is less than zero no then it is a empty now natural number which x is such that x belongs to natural number 3 greater x is greater than 3 but less than 4 can you can you make can you and it is a natural number so does not have anything so it is an empty set clear uh, let us discuss about the universal set a set that contains all the elements under consideration in a given problem and it is donated by the sign which is there on your screen now for example the set of even number less than 10 so a set a is having 2 4 6 8 now the set of odd number less than 10 uh, b is equals to within the braces 1 3 5 7 and 9 now universal set is the uh, consideration of all the sets so here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 clear with this what's the meaning of universal set with the example which is there on your screen now let's uh, discuss about the cardinal number of a set the number of distinct elements in a finite set so cardinality you can judge only through a finite set what you have already uh, got from here in this video that what are finite sets so the cardinality can be defined only in finite set and not in the infinite set because you are not sure the, of the ending or the starting clear so the cardinal number of a finite set is denoted by n within the uh, braces the uh, set name the set of a vowel is the vowels are fine so the cardinality will be n within the braces the set name is equals to 5 the number of elements now the set of month in a year we are knowing january february march uh, april may june july august september october november december so all together how many months 12 so n uh, the y was uh, representing uh, these months so n within the braces y is equals to 12 now b is equals to x such that x is a whole number and x is less than 7 so what are the whole number uh, it's starting from 0 and all the set of natural numbers here it is uh, less than 7 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so total all together how many number of elements 7 so n is within the braces b is equals to 7 now the set of a letter in a word shubra now s is equals to now you cannot repeat the elements so s h u b h we cannot take then r a and k so a n within the braces s is equals to 8 now the cardinality number of an infinite set which is not different so the set of natural numbers, the set of odd numbers, the set of even numbers, the set of integers, say they all are having no ends, no, no, uh, we can say the extreme term which is defined. So it is n, we can say that this is the symbol which you are seeing n within the braces n is equals to infinity, it's a sign of infinity which we are not doing. Now, the singleton set has one element and n, the singleton set name, for example, a, b, c, whatever you take, that is equal to 1 because it contains one element. So, 1, the cardinality of this will be, singleton set will be 1. Empty set, no, 0. Clear? Equal set. Now the two sets are called equal set if they have same elements. Whatever element set A will have, the same element B will have. Then only. Now suppose for example, 1, 2, 3, A is having the elements 1, 2, 3, B is also having the elements 3, 2, 1. 
the order can be changed no issues but they are having one two three after eliminating a and b we say it as a is equals to b now when if suppose if we say uh, when is a is not equals to b then suppose a is having one two three b is having one two three four so here b is having uh, four which is not belongs to set a so they both are not equal clear with the example one a is equals to abc b is equals to b a c a b where a b is the same and it is repetitive so we can write like a, a b a c or we can change the order a b c now here a and b is having exactly the same elements so yes a is equals to b now take another example a is equals to minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. They all are set of integer. So we can write in set builder form that x is such that x belongs to integer where x is greater than minus 4, less than 4. Or we can write like that x such that x belongs to integer which is x is greater than or equals to minus 3, less than or equals to 3. We can write or we can write like this x is such that x belongs to integer where the perfect square is less than 10 and it is exactly the same what is in uh, written in the set builder form for set b so x is equals to b now let's take the third example if a is equals to x such that x is a vowel in the word P A L M O L I V E. And from here you have to take the uh, take out the vowel, and in the set B you have to take out the uh, vowel of T E uh, from the word T E M T T E M P T A T I O N. And here take the vowel. P is not a vowel. A is there. Write it under the A set. Now M is not there, O is the vowel, take out the O, pa, uh, o uh, alphabet and now L is not there, I is there, take out I and then leave V and take it E. Now A, O, I, E is the elements of set A. Now similarly, if you take out the vowels uh, from the temptation word, it will be E A I O. Now here you will see the number of elements of set A and B are exactly the same. So A is equals to B and they are the finite set as well because here the cardinality will be uh, the number of elements uh, depend on the number of elements of a particular set. Here for set A the cardinality will be 1, 2, 3, 4 and exactly the cardinality of B will be the same. Here 4, the number of elements, E, A, I, O. So, but one thing you have to understand is that if the cardinality is same, it cannot, we cannot say uh, means uh, that the set is equal. To have an equal set, you have to have exact same element. And if the cardinality is same, we can say a uh, uh, different, I mean, we can say it as an uh, equivalent set. But not uh, so from this we can say that uh, uh, if I'm not too early because it is there which I have to explain it so uh, equal sets equal sets can be equal sets can be uh, equivalent but all the equivalent sets are not equal remember this now because no same uh, now equivalent set two finite sets are called equivalent set if they have the same number try to understand over there to have a equal set you have to have exact element here you have to have the counting i mean the same number of elements and here the three ways you can donate uh, uh, denote uh, the equivalent to uh, yeah, amongst two sets now the two infinite sets are always uh, equivalent because here you don't know the number of uh, 
uh, a part where it is going i mean in infinity level we are not going at what end it will reach so we we consider we consider that the two infinity sets uh, or infinite sets are the are same all right example is a set of even number b is a set of odd numbers so see it is an having uh, 2 4 6 8 10 and then the ellipsis is there therefore the b is also 1 3 5 7 9 and then the ellipsis is there so it is so on and so on so we are not sure so we take it as consideration that yes uh, the cardinality of both uh, sets uh, set a and b is the same and you are able to see on your screen how to denote the equivalent of the two sets. Now, to what is the difference between equal and the equivalent set? Now, the definition is that two sets are equal if all the elements of both the sets are same. Here in the equivalent set, the sets are equivalent if, if the number of elements of both the sets are, is same. What we have discussed till now it is a part uh, just like a revision to you all now the number of elements here the same in both the sets same in both the sets now cardinality same of the both the sets same of both the sets elements now here it is very important it should be same here it need not to be same a is equals to one two uh, one two three b is equals to four five six e they are not equal but they are equivalent because the cardinality of the two is three each of the sets now a relation uh, now uh, how we can donate it which is having a is equal to and there is having two is equal to sign is also a, sign, a symbol of uh, equivalent or the arrows which is uh, marking toward both the ends and then this sign which is on your screen now relationship equal sets can be equivalent that what we have discussed before and equivalent sets cannot be equal what we have discussed with the example 1 2 3 and 4 5 6 clear now in the example it is there a is equals to 2 4 6 8 b is equals to 4 a 2 6 definitely maybe the order is different but this elements are the same so definitely yes a is equals to b now here for the example of equivalent x is equals to 2 4 6 y is equals to 1 3 5 7 now no elements are same of the each set so still the cardinality is the same because it is having four elements it is also y is also having four elements yes it is an equivalent set now the subset and superset subset uh, a and b is uh, b any two sets then a is called a subset of b if every member if every member of a is um, of b if every member of a is also a member of b now what is if take uh, take an example the set of english alphabet it is containing all the uh, 26 uh, alphabets from a to z now the set of English vowel. Now the vowel is a selected one out of 26, only 5 A E I O U. So here the set of English vowel is a subset of the set of English alphabet. Clear? But the set of English alphabet is not a subset of the set of English vowel. Why? Because English alphabet is having more number of elements as compared to the A set of English vowel. Because over there it is hardly having five uh, uh, elements. And here in the sets of English alphabets you are having 26. So it cannot be, the bigger one cannot be, the which is having more elements in it. It can never be a subset of the, of a particular set which is having less enough in elements so every element of v is contained in e right as v the sign is there on your screen e and um, we can we can say that e contains v now here e now here if 
now here comes the uh, superset e is a superset of v we write it or we we may uh, say is that e contains v but e is not subset of v what we have discussed now where where x is not a subset of v x is a superset of v what now a set now what important points we have to understand in this that a is a subset of itself a set sorry not a a set is a subset of itself now empty set is a subset of any set clear every set is a subset of universal set that is uh, what is there on your screen now if a is equals to b then a is a subset of b b is a subset of a they both are subset of each clear whatever we have discussed as a theoretical part let's implement on a practical basis to understand it better a question number one which of the following collections are set a a collection of prime number the collection of easy subtopics in this chapter, the collection of good teachers in your school, the collection of girl, girls in your class, the collection of odd natural numbers. So here, the collection of prime numbers, yes, it is, it is the, it is making a set. The collection of easy subtopics in this chapter, no because it depends on us so it is not a well-defined form so it is not making a set a collection of good teachers in your school again it is coming the quality as we have discussed that if we do not deal on the qualities we deal on the quantities so here good teacher is not making a set now the collection of girls in your class so we can count them so yes definitely it is making a set the collection of odd natural numbers definitely it is making a set clear now question number two if a is the factor of uh, a within the braces the factor of 42 then write which of the following statement are true or false the first one six is six belongs to a the second one 21 do not belongs to a the third the set in a set 6 and 14 are belongs to A or a set 21 not belongs to A then 4, 3, 12 and 21 uh, belongs to A and within the set uh, 2, 6, 14 belongs to A. Now here the factor of 42 first you have to calc uh, make a uh, 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 to find the factors of 42 so what are the factors 1 2 3 6 7 14 21 42 so let's take a set as a is equals to within the braces 1 2 3 6 7 14 21 42 they are the factors and the braces close now it is made a now it is a set now the first statement says that 6 belongs to a is it there 6 in that uh, uh, in that uh, set yes it is it is uh, 6 is available in the set a so true the statement is correct now for the second one 21 does not belongs to a it is false because 21 belongs to a now the third it says a set 6 and 14 belongs to a now it is the statement is false because 6 and 14 is a set and therefore not an element now see try to understand the difference between element and a set now if the uh, braces are closed it is a set so these this set is not belongs to a but if it would have been without the braces and written as 6 and 14 belongs to a then the statement would have been true now for the fourth one that a set 21 uh, is a set 21 does not belong to it that is correct the statement what we have discussed for three that part if we take it 
for consideration then statement 4 is true now for fifth 3 12 21 belongs to a now here it is false because in the factors uh, of 42 you won't find 12 so the statement is incorrect or false now the sixth one a set 2 6 14 belongs to a incorrect because it is not making it is we have to we, we can take the elements not a set here so the statement is also untrue now describe the following sets now uh, within the uh, within the curly braces a e i o u the set of the vowels all right now january february march april the first four months of a year clear so this what we have to do in this now question number four write the following sets in a tabular form and also in set builder form now the first one set of all natural number that can divide 24 completely and the second question says the set of odd numbers between 20 and 35 and the third question says the set of letters used in the word calcutta now the solution for the first the set of all natural numbers that can be divided 24 completely so what are they so they are 1 2 3 4 6 8 12 24 they completely divide 24 for example now 24 divided by 2 completely it is dividing without leaving any remainder here clear so this what you have to form in a tabular form now how you will be writing it so you will be writing in set builder form that x such that x is a natural number in which divided by 24 completely clear let's take the second example where you have to write the set of odd numbers uh, between 20 and 35 so 21 23 25 26 29 31 and 33 they are the set of odd numbers between 20 and 35 now the set builder form we can write it as we can take uh, the words from the descriptive form and can write it. they both uh, set builder form and descriptive form you can take few words from each other now here x such that x is an odd number between 20 and 35 clear easy to make now the third one that you have to write uh, the letter used in the word calcutta so here C A L U T you will be taking and the rest are the repetitive words. Alright. For example, uh, C a C A L, then C is a repetitive, then uh, you will be taking U, then double T is there, you will be taking only single T and A is already there. So C A L U T. And the set builder form will be X such that X is a letter used in the word Calcutta. Now Question number 5. Write the following sets in a roster form and also in a descriptive form. The question number 1. X is such that X is a natural number divisible by 3 where X is less than 80. In the roster form, it will be like uh, 3, X, 9, 12 and 15. And in descriptive form, we can also write uh, by taking the help of set builder form that a set of first five multiple of three. Clear? Now for the B, X such that X is a prime number between 10 and 20. What are the prime numbers? You all are knowing. So make it in a roster form, the 11, 13, 17 and 19. And in descriptive form, you can write like a set of two digit prime number less than 20. Now question number 6. Mm -hmm. Write the following set in a roster form where X is such that X is an integer which where X is greater than minus 3 and less than 7. So you can write the number of elements they are minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So he is having 
minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 as an element. Now, x such that x is a two digit natural number such that the sum of its digit is 8 means two digit number whom you add gives you 8 as a sum clear now 17 1 plus 7 gives you 8 26 2 plus 6 gives you 8 with the same way 8 8 0 we, uh, 8 plus 0 gives you 8 so the elements you will be writing in set a 17 26 35 44 53 62 71 and 8 now question c x such that x is a prime number which is a divisor of 60 so you better take the lcm of 60 so it will be 2 into 2 into 3 into 5 so 2 times 2 you cannot take it it's a repetitive so 2 3 5 is the set uh, which is the element of set a 2 3 5 write the following set in uh, in set builder form that is a is equals to 16 uh, 25 36 49 64 so a is equals to uh, uh, such that x is such that x is a perfect square natural number which is between 15 and 65 now here this 16 is 4 square 4 uh, 4 into 4 5 into 5 6 into 6 7 into 7 8 into 8 so we can write like this that x is a x is such that x is a perfect square and natural number between 15 and 65 okay uh, let's take another example where m is equals to january March, May, July, August, October, December. See, these all months are having uh, 31 days, isn't it? So, what, how we will be writing in, in a set builder form? X such that X is a month of a year having more than 30 days. More than 30 days, of course, it is 31. So, this way we can write in set builder form. Now, Question number 8. Classify the following sets into empty set, finite set, infinite set. In such case of finite set, mention the cardinal number. Alright. Now, it is easy to find the cardinality of uh, a finite set as, as compared to infinite. Because we are not knowing how many number of elements are there in a set over there. Now, the first one. The set of whole number. So, here... There is no limit is given, uh, so it is an infinite. If 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 it was written that the set of whole number less than ten, surely the limit is there, extreme end is there. Surely we could have it would have come under the finite set and we could have given the cardinality of it. But since it is not mentioned, the set of whole number can be in uh, infinity, so it is an infinite set. Now the second one. Natural number that are less than 50 and multiplies of 8. Now you have to uh, get the table of 8 till 6 because 6 into 8 is 48. After that it will increase uh, from 50. So we, 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 don't have, we, we don't have to take it. So definitely 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. They all are... Uh, 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 they, we can say that A is a finite set which have the uh, uh, number of elements 6 in it. Now, 3 digit numbers greater than 998 means what is the successor of uh, 998? That is 999, uh, which, is, which is carrying in a set. It is having one element, so we say it as singleton set. The set of student more than 3 meter tall. Now here, 3 meter is uh, 1 meter is approximately 3.14 uh, uh, feet. So 3 meter here means uh, almost uh, uh, 9 and a half feet. So have you ever seen any person who is uh, 9 and a half feet? So definitely you don't find any, any student. So it's an empty set. Now question number 9. Which of the following describes the equal set? Now P is having Tom, Dick, Harry and John and Q is having Dick, Harry, John, Tom. 
almost the, each and every elements are the same exactly the same so definitely yes b is equals to q now about uh, the b part r is having 2 4 6 8 s is having 2 4 6 8 and 10 so they are not having the same elements as to each other to each other all right r is is a subset of s but but s is not a subset of r so we can say if the, both the rules would have applied then only r is equals to s but here one rule is applied where r is subset of s but s is not a subset of r so we we, we will be saying that r is not equal to s clear now which of the following describes the equivalent set now x is an odd natural number less than n very simple you are knowing so odd natural number it will be 1 3 5 7 so how many total elements 4 so the cardinality of this o set will be 4 now the another is x such that x is a letter in the word girl now all the four g i r l are different no no uh, alphabets are repetitive so the l the cardinality is also same so we can say that if the cardinality of the two sets are same we can say it's an equivalent set so the sign is there any of the three sign you can pick it take the b example where x is such that p plus 2 and p is a natural number and less than 6 so how we will be uh, making it in a roster form it will be like this sound now here p is a natural number and less than 6 so 1 2 3 4 5 all right now there is a condition p plus 4 now x will be p plus 4 so add 2 in each of the elements so now it turns into 3 4 5 6 7 and the cardinality of this uh, set a is having 5 now the another one is simple it is clear no condition is there the simple uh, the numbers are written so we just counted 1 2 3 4 so here the cardinality of uh, a and b are not matching so they are not equivalent to each other now question number 11 find all the subsets of set a and the uh, set a is given as 1 2 3 4 now how to do it first you will be taking empty set that is also a, a part of a, each set so now after that break each elements and make them a separate set and then try to combine it but one thing you have to note that there should not be a, a repetitive combination like one and one in a set no it will be treated as only single one element so with this way you try to form it try to separate all the terms now here uh, 1 is a set 2 3 4 then take a combination of 1 and 2 take a combination of 1 and 3 take a combination of 1 and 4 now come on the 2 part take a combination of 2 and 3 and 2 and 4 now again take a combination of 3 4 all right and then you try to take a combination of uh, uh, 1 3 4 1 2 4 and 1 2 3 4 that was finally so did you count it now here try to count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 now now here there is a rule to find out uh, the subsets now 2 is a rule and on which the number of elements for what you are finding the subset now they here it is 4 so 2 to the power 4 so it will be 16 so 16 number of subset it will be for me clear now question number 12 find the relationship among the three sets uh, a is given 1 3 5 b is given 1 2 3 4 5 c is given 1 2 3 4 5 now the element a is present in set b and set c 
clear but set b and set c is not equals to a because here uh, 2 and 4 are the two elements which not belongs to a so that is why they are not equal so we can say that a is a subset of b and c set but b c are not equals to a now another relationship among b and c definitely each elements are same of the two sets so we can say that b is a subset of c c is a subset of b so b is equals to c clear thank you for watching the video and i hope the video is effective to you all thank you